first first try first try you reckon yeah you can, you can do it we finally made it out there you are you rascals I'll teach you to play stowaway on my ship. Friends of Peter Pan, I'll wager. Are we his friends? He sure didn't seem to think so. Yeah, the way he took off like that. He even ditched Wendy. I'm not finished talking yet. How dare you ignore, ignore me and plot behind my back, uncivilized brats. You're in cahoots with Peter Pan, no mistake. If you say so. Either way, you're going to let us off this ship? Wendy's coming with us. Think again, you scallywags. Hook's one step ahead of you. Wendy! Any trouble and Wendy takes a long walk off the plank. You wouldn't. Believe me, I'd rather not. After all, I need Wendy to bait that blasted Peter Pan. Then I'll just have to take the bait, you old codfish. Huh? Peter! Here I am, Hook. Miss me? Insolent brat, today is the day you pay for taking my hand. Uh oh. Ah! Oh, he didn't fall in the water. What a shame. You've made a fool of me for the last time, Pan. I'll cleave you to the brisket. Alrighty. Let's see how we're gonna die in this one, I guess. this game like magic I caught it, didn't I? magic builds are just ridiculously overpowered for some reason you just spam magic and you just win so um yeah i caught it you did call it i'll i'll give you that um <laughs> all right so before i go into the rest of the story segment um i'm gonna go for cause i can't remember what we had last time now um i really need to start making notes again i'm gonna go for slightly more than Perfurious with 59, 9, 6, 8. Okay, well, I will tell you and anybody else in chat can guess that the last time I was already at 60,000. What? Whoa. <laughs> well, rip. <laughs> But um, uh, once again, you are closer than Porphyrus. So. Well, it's, it's funny that, as soon as you was over 60,000 and I went slightly higher than Porphyrus, then. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it would be quite interesting if, like, digital things kind of crashed and burned and actually all went back to needing physical stuff. Yeah, um, like, screw crypto. Yeah. I have to say, uh, quite a few years ago, I'd I bought a lot of crypto and I I got a lot of free crypto by by answering questions like you would you know you would get like from Coinbase and yeah uh, and, and they would they would ask you questions you well they would uh they would <clears throat> uh tell you about a new currency and then 
and then you would answer uh, a little quiz. Yeah. And then if, if you got them right, then you would get, I, I remember like $3 a pop, $2, $1, depending, whatever. So I got a bunch of, you know, small amounts of money from doing that. And then I put in $25 into each of the major ones. And I think I put a total of about a hundred bucks in and then I weighed it and then boom, uh, my hundred bucks, uh, ended up just selling it all when I got to, it was almost $400. Yeah. And sold it all and took it. And then it, I watched it after that a little bit and things dropped and yeah. So uh, yeah. I, 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 I played the game. I did it well. And I gotta say, if I would have had like, like thousands or tens, tens of thousands to put in, I would have done it. Yeah. You know, like I, like, okay, if I lose it kind of money, uh, I'm okay. But, no, I only did lose it kind of money, which yeah. is uh, very little, but, you know, I made. You made something yeah, at least, so. Yeah, I made almost like a 400% return, so. Yeah, can't complain. No. All right, let's get, uh, get the end of this story done. And, uh, we can okay, any more guesses? Send them in while he's doing the story. I'm going to go ahead and uh, preemptively put the number that it is in chat. Thanks, Peter. We owe you one. Well, at first I thought I'd let you handle it, but it really looked like you needed help. But hey, you three did pretty good, though. Wendy, about London. Are you sure you won't change your mind? Peter, I'm sorry, but I really want to go home. I was afraid of that. Everyone grows up, and grows up's always grown-ups always forget. First you'll forget what it feels like to be young, and then you'll forget about me. How can you say such a thing, Peter? I'll never ever forget you. Sure, that's what you think now, but when you try to remember me, your memories will be gone. You'll forget, little by little, one memory at a time. Once you're grown up, there won't be a single memory left. Don't say that. Memories, even important ones, don't come back to us whenever we want them. But that doesn't mean the memories are gone. It's more like, like the sleeping. So when the right one comes along and wakes the memory up, we can remember it. The memories engraved in our hearts never go away. I'm sure of it. He's right, Peter. Never, huh? It's funny. I never, ever, I never thought. I thought everybody who left Neverland forgot all about it. I have a feeling you guys might just be different. Okay, Sora. If you say we'll meet again, then I believe you. Oh, Peter. Let's go, Wendy. London is waiting. Hi, Sora. I'll be waiting to see what you look like all grown up. Away we go. Yeah. Just slightly too high crazy. What's the matter, Tink? Tinkerbell card. This must be a gift from Peter. Maybe he's not such a thoughtless guy after all. Ow! Another gift from Peter? What's the big idea? Tinkerbell card. And Donald got squashed by a moogle. Okay, if you've got anything to ramble about, sir, I would uh, strongly advise you to uh, 
ramble now because we'll be having another story section momentarily. Well, <laughs> uh, I'll defer to captive audience. Any questions? Any topics of discussion? Crazy's talking about uh, some drama going on with a, a certain game recently. Uh, what but, game is uh, that? Well, uh, let me chat about that uh, momentarily. Yeah, but, uh, but, Crazy, what game are we talking about? But you're out of luck because I'm walking through the door, which means story. Okay. All right, let's do it. Guess he must have finally got tired of fighting with you. I sure hope so. Oh, that was a bit of a short story segment. Although, <laughs> there'll be another bit when I go up these stairs. I'm sure Riku will probably be waiting for us at the top of these stairs and we'll have to fight him for a third time. Ah, uh, he doesn't want to fight you anymore. So what's going on, Vex? All right, Porphyrius, have a good night. Have a good night, Porphyrius. Just hang in, buddy. What's he waiting for? Where is he? He's hiding somewhere to lure uh, Sora deeper yeah, into the castle, I right? I suppose we should just leave Must it at you know. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, I see now. I would have never guessed that. So sorry, Vexen. Silence! Predictable response. Forget it. Men without hearts are so boring. You're one to talk. As if you have such a heart to speak of yourself. That's enough. Marusha. Vexen. The simple fact is that your project was a failure. You'd best not disappoint us again. Disappoint you? You go too far! In this organization, you're number 11. I'm number 4 and I will not have you! I've been entrusted this castle and Namine by our leader. Defying me will be seen as treason. Against the organization. Traitors are eliminated. I believe that's what the rules say. Who needs a half-baked good-for-nothing anyway? <gasps> Vexen. You cannot win against Sora. Pity to be so ignorant. As you're only able to see the surface of things, I should not expect you to appreciate my true might. Oh? Then let us watch as you prove it. What? None of us wish to be suspicious of a comrade. Your insincerity is comfort. You give a challenge like that to Vexen and he'll seriously want to eliminate Sora. That would be an unfortunate denouement. What to do? Your hero is soon to be wiped from existence. But I believe there is a certain promise that he made you. Isn't that right, Namine? Yes. Wow, the top floor. We've got to have plenty of. And that must mean we've lost ten whole floors worth of our memories. Sora, it's still not too late. Don't you think we should turn back? Can't do it. Because that would break an old promise that I made. An old promise? What would that be? On the islands, I promised Namine that I'd keep her safe, no matter what. But I forgot it. I didn't remember until I started forgetting everything else. 
promise between the two of us. That's why I can't leave. Now that I remember the promise, I have to keep it. Of course. We understand, Sorrow. All right, looks like we're going to get away with uh, an intermittent uh, intermission boss fight here, so it's quite nice. Uh, all right, so to do with plants versus zombies, I know that you're a you're a big fan of the uh, franchise, crazy. So what's been going on with plants versus zombies? Remember your promise to Nomine, then you still must have your important memories. Special promises like yours are meant to be kept. Okay, well we've only got one place left to go, and that will be Hollow Bastion. Sounds like Deathwish falls off his chair. <laughs> ah, scared it up. I'm on a tile floor. You're on the top floor? Tile. Oh, tile floor, sorry. I'm hearing voices. I wonder who it is. I think something's wrong. But, Bell, I don't understand. I came here to rescue you, beast. I didn't ask you to come. Doesn't matter anyway. I'm not going back with you, so you're wasting your time. Bell, do you know what you're saying? How can you stay here with that witch? I have nothing more to say. Now leave before she finds you. Bell, why? I'm not sure what's going on, but is everything okay? Don't feel bad. There must be a reason she said those things. Keep your sympathy. No one could ever care for a beast like me. Poor guy. We all wish there was something we could do for him. Uh, you've stopped playing Plants vs. Uh, Zombies Garden Warfare 2 on PC because of hackers. Um, because of PC of... Blah, blah, blah. Because hackers on PC have now found a way to ban players and have literally made the game unsafe to play on PC. Wow. Um, remind me again, is um, Plants vs. Zombie, is that a, an EA game? Fire. 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 Funnel. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't... I used to play it. Freeze. I enjoyed it, but I didn't realize they had a player version. Power. Ah. For that type of game, that use bots or hack it in any way is kind of stupid. Yeah. Uh, you could say that about any game, but especially for that game, I mean, come on. Just, just let it be. <laughs> So what have the actual developers said about it, though, Crazy? What are they, 
are they actually gonna do anything about it or just sort of like well okay nothing nothing we're gonna do we're gonna kind of abandon it or so I asked if it was EA because it wouldn't surprise me if EA is just completely oblivious to the whole thing going on Tonight's live podcast is brought to you by Knox Kidney. Please donate bits and subscribe. Follow. And all that jazz. <laughs> Make sure to like, subscribe. Click that bell on YouTube as well. Yeah, you know, subscribing on YouTube definitely helps the Twitch channel, so make sure you do it. If you, if you subscribe to Not Tonight on YouTube, then um, good things will happen in the you next will get a three free, days. We'll, we'll get a free air bait. Confuse me and now I walk backwards. Not take a ban, it's an exploit that overloads your XP and makes you unable to play multiplayer. Until your character's level 46, which they aren't meant to be. Okay. I've seen that happen on other games in the past, to be fair. Very similar sort of thing. The old um, Call of Duty World at War. Um, I know it's like a really old game, but um, I remember sort of fucking that. Um, going back to after years and years, actually, to tell I, I bought the PC version of the game because I was, um, I've been quite, I'm quite interested in zombies mode. I've always played zombies. So the PC had obviously the mods and custom maps. So literally I bought it and the first lobby I went into was a hacked lobby. And I was like instantly made like prestige level, whatever it was, max prestige level, because <laughs> that's what people were doing to games. So, I mean, how old is Garden Warfare 2? Is that quite a, a new game or? Yeah, I was going to say, that's great old. I mean, the game itself is quite old. 2016 for that? Yeah, seven years. Plus. <coughs> Screws me. remember which you know unreal tournament the original talked about that before started playing it in 1999 came out in 98 i believe uh, no. got got hooked and even though i was playing on 56k modem There were people who had aim bots and everything else. It's like, come on. Really? Why don't you just get good? Yeah. I, I always just remember playing Unreal Tournament 2004 and there's somebody with the, the lightning gun and you just get sniped from like the other side of the map. It's like, dude, come on. Yeah, I have to say, uh, uh, I started playing, well, I'm pretty sure I said it before, I started, I, I went into a server that was instagin, yeah. used, used the shock rifle, and I didn't that's know, right. shot rifle, that's, that's the name of it, yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't know that's what it, I didn't know anything about it, I just started playing, I'm like, wait, they shot me one time, how did I die? 
do it because I I don't only play the regular stuff where you switch weapons and yeah and all that kind of jazz. So it started out with just a shock rifle and then uh like go running out and all of a sudden here comes some flares and there and it was low grab and I'm like okay let me shoot one of them and boom I'm dead I'm like what what kind of cheating is going on and then I realized I figured out that it was what insta gib was or as some people would say insta jib yeah uh, for ji for giblets, but I, I still call it as the gib. But and then I realized what it was, and I stayed on that server and played it and played it and played it, put it in my favorites, kept going back to it, and I got good. And I just started absolutely slaying, and I just got better and better and better. And, uh, and I had a rollerball mouse. And what, honestly, <laughs> which is kind of funny to me, I got worse when I transitioned to a regular mouse. Uh, 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 well, back then they didn't have a laser. And I, I got an optical mouse, like, yeah, an optical gaming mouse to be more precise. Gotta get it. Nah. I was way better with the rollerball. Just, you know, so much better. And I realized that the people I was accusing of cheating uh, early on weren't, they were just good. Yeah. For the most part. And, uh, but you could tell which ones were cheating because once I played long enough, I could tell they weren't even looking in my direction when I was getting hit. And they would hit multiple people. Boom, boom, boom. And they weren't even turning. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, we got cheats. But I'm like, okay, whatever. Uh, I'll, I'll go against cheats. And it actually made me way better. And I started taking the cheats out, and a lot of the other people. And I was, I knew I was getting really good when I was constantly accused of using a name bot. Yeah. Which, which I had no idea where to get one, how to use it, or any of that stuff. I just, I was just good. I have yeah. to say. And, and, it, and it made me laugh my ass off when I got accused of that. Well, that's, that's like the, the same this, this happens all the time in games. It's like you, you, you're good at a game, and the, the first thing somebody instantly thinks of is, oh, he's cheating. Yeah. It's like, it's not the fact that, you know, genuinely that guy is good at the game. It's, oh, they, they must be cheating. Yeah, because you, you feel like. You're pretty decent. Uh, but yeah, there's people that have been playing longer and they're just better. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, nowadays, uh, like back then, you know, it was a little different. But like uh, nowadays, it's, it's hard to tell if a person's really good or if they're actually using. Yeah you know cheats because yeah some people are just really good and some people are just you know it is what it is and you just have to kind of go with the flow or not play it i mean yeah you know can i um can i just say crazy you say about that um uh, it's not affected your levels because you've been playing offline. Surely, like with a game like Plants vs. Zombies, though, the whole fun is like playing online against other people, no? So doesn't it kind of still, even though you're you're not affected per se, does it not still ruin the experience overall?
I saw um no 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 I saw payday uh three came out this week as well didn't it oh really they, they yeah. got a payday three yeah but it's i think uh, a few people have been quite um i can't I imagine know. it i don't think it's had the best release i was gonna say i can't imagine it being it's been so long since payday 2 came out they've had uh, i think well i think it's been about 13 14 years i think i read somewhere um uh, they've made, it's been a long time payday 2 has been going one. pretty strong made the new one um always online and i've had like a lot of oh. a lot of server issues so people have been getting very angry but they've also been saying that they don't feel like there's as much um functionality and stuff in payday 3 as there was in payday 2 but you'd have thought after developing a game for 13 14 years however long it was with payday 2 and having such a strong community following and to constantly like releasing dlc and updating that game that have yeah. a pretty good grasp of what the community wanted but it's um it kind of seemed to have uh, gone the other way it seems a little bit which is kind of mad um shooters not tower defense games kind of offline it's just going to ai or friends so it's all right okay yeah i'm some I'm surprised to hear that Eddie 3 came out. Uh, I, I haven't been really connected with the uh, game so much unless it's on my wish list, which I yeah. never, even, never even saw that Payday 3 was even a thing. Uh, that, I mean, I stopped playing Payday 2 way, way long ago, so. Uh, even with the uh, DLCs and that sort of thing. Fun game, but yeah, I don't. No, I know, I, I did see that you've got it in your library, but um, I've never actually, I never actually paid Payday, paid Payday, so, um, but it always looks pretty cool and pretty fun. My yeah, only, it is. My it only is, concern yeah. is like, I don't know how, like, how repetitive the, like the missions get. Um, my experience, I mean, doesn't it hurt to play other games crazy for sure. Oh, sorry, that fish. Yeah, no problem. Uh, uh, the, I mean, you have the, the, the game is based on robbing a place, Fire. yeah, and Fire. and you have certain. You have certain goals you're trying to accomplish, uh, especially multiplayer. When you're your team based, you have to fight off Fire. police, yeah, and that sort of thing, Fire. and Fire. complete objectives and uh, that sort of thing. Freeze. So I mean, the the objectives vary, but yeah, essentially it's. It's pretty repetitive to, to a point, but if you, I mean, I guess it's kind of like any other first-person shooter, like, you know, like zombie Freeze. games. Yeah, yeah, you're going to get zombies coming at you. Wave after the, wave after wave after wave. Yeah, and that's how it is in Payday. Uh, it, you just get cops, and whatever SWAT and whatever else, I can't remember. It, they just keep coming in, so you have to, and you have to keep uh, on top of things to make it through. And so, you, especially with uh, multiplayer, you you have to protect whoever's going for the objectives, try to keep uh, the you know the, the so-called good guys out. Yeah, uh, that sort of thing. But yeah, it's yes. I mean, it's a fun game, regardless. Uh, I mean, it's different. It's different objectives and different goals Fire. to do while you're trying to basically you're playing defense Fire. against the, the cops and that sort of thing. Yeah. And, and otherwise, yeah, I mean, it's. Yeah. 
It's essentially I, I, okay, so uh, like I, I any other didn't... first person shooter or a zombie game where you're you're defending your your area and that sort of thing. So yeah. I probably didn't structure my question like the best. What I think what I actually meant was like how how different are like the environments and things that you play in? Is it like varied enough or is it kind of like the same layer every time or? Uh, it depends on, nah, the, it, they vary. It depends on the building. You should, you should probably, I mean, if you're interested, you should probably I mean, check I it at, out. To be fair, I looked at it on the store and I think like Payday 2 is like about a tenner or something like that, so. Well, um, I mean, you can play mine. I mean, well, yeah, but I was, I was, I, I didn't know if, um, as soon as you own it, I didn't know if it was something you'd be interested in maybe having a look at together at some point. Oh, uh, uh, definitely good. I mean, I haven't played it. Uh, play, play it on my library. See what you think. And if it's I do feel like it would be. One, it's it's one of those games that would probably be better to play with people. Yeah, it's uh, you can play single player uh, with AI, I believe. Uh, but yeah, I mean, multiplayer is where it's at. Yeah. And. You know, you gotta you gotta play with people that know the map. Fire. Uh, Fire. Even if, well, you don't have to, but you you figure it out. The, you know, it's kind of like Call of Duty or any kind of game. You you got different buildings, different areas, different objectives, and that sort of thing. So yeah, it's it, it's a challenge, but once you uh or you know play long enough and you're more familiar with Fire. with the building you're in because so, you know sometimes they're you know they're banks and you got multiple floors and you gotta go to one specific office to do a certain objective people uh you know yeah you ought to check it out and uh let me know what you think, and if you want to go at it. Fire. Yeah. And, Fire. and yeah, I'd, I'd be up for it. Alright, I'll uh, make, try and make a conscious effort to take a bit more of a look at it. Um, you've been playing some Half-Life 1, Half-Life 2, Black Mansion, Half-Life mods recently. You've also been playing some new games like Starfield, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Half Life's definitely a classic. Yeah, Half Life is good. Um, I'm glad that I played it. Um, Half Life I, Alex is the bomb. Don't really know that. Um, yeah. I don't know. I personally didn't get the hype about Half Life, if I'm honest. I wasn't as hooked. On like the whole i know the stories are Fire. loosely connected with Fire. portal but i didn't quite Fire. get the hype of the black mesa story and everything so yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad i played it because it's one of those games that you know i think go it's always be it'll also always go down in history as um one of those games that you have to play but like yeah, i said i don't I really have life before I played Half-Life 2 before I played the original Half-Life. Right, okay. So, because Orange Box, that's yeah. where I learned about Half-Life. And I was like, okay, I'll go back. And yeah, graphics suck because it was the original Source Engine. Whereas Half-Life 2 is Source 2. Uh, that sort of thing. But yeah. Uh, I, I mean gonna say you know don't you didn't have to play half-life one to enjoy half-life two because i thoroughly enjoyed half-life two and that was one of the games i played all the way through and i do need to go back and finish up uh half-life alex which i have to say vr games uh, love them and have like Alex's 
phenomenal. It's yeah. absolutely great, but I, I kind of get where it's like, okay, I gotta uh, start. I gotta start Steam VR. I gotta start Oculus. I gotta start. Load it up. Get in there. Set my boundaries. Yeah. Yada yada yada. And sometimes just thinking about it, like I really want to continue playing, I just kind of go. Eh. Uh, maybe another time. Which, you know, that's just being lazy, but. Uh, because. Like the way they did everything, uh, you know. I'm assuming I'm probably about a third of the way through, maybe. Okay. Uh, and yeah, it's 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 absolute, just so much fun. And I mean, it's great. I I think it's to me, it's better than Half Life Two. Yeah. Uh, you know, but there's. Yeah, just the, just the whole, it's not as easy as just clicking play and grabbing your mouse and keyboard and playing. You know, you gotta put the headset on and start yeah. everything, make sure everything is running proper, and, you know, and yeah, it works fine on my PC, but, you know, I have to make sure everything is uh, every extra thing is shut down and yeah you know to leave all my gpu and cpu to just concentrate on that game but yeah when i do it's fantastic I mean, it's just yeah it's great it's probably well i would say it's the most fun i've had with the I think any game, especially a first-person shooter. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I've you know, I just I I play occasionally on the the Oculus, but I don't know, I'm just not as really not as into VR as I was kind of hoping I would have been. But I wanted, like, literally, when we got the VR, the, the first thing I did was buy. Um, the room yeah um but i've i've still i've still not finished it wow i've got into like the uh, i don't know how far I've, how much more of it i've got left to do but i'm in the is it like a witch's hut or something or like a little hut that's in the back and beyond somewhere i think it's the one after the church level but yeah, oh, just, yeah. okay i remember I the know, church I just, level I just don't I don't get the same buzz to play it as I get as I do to play the ones on PC. It's it's really it's really weird. Yeah, Black Mesa is a is a great um, remake of Half Life One. Crazy, I agree. Definitely. Yeah, I have to say that I've really I really loved the the room. Uh, it, and all its iterations from one, two, three, and VR, and yeah, uh, and and I actually did finish it in the VR mode because I was hooked. I mean, that's like I I probably I probably loved that game, like the room, and what's the other one? Uh, da Vinci. Da Vinci. Yeah. Uh, House of Da Vinci. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think I think. The former I like a little better, but House of Da Vinci uh, is 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 up there with the room. But yeah, lo loved it in VR. It, it just you know it was just so much more immersive, and you were doing the same thing, and you could tilt your head and look around it rather than having to. You know, click. Yeah. To to rotate. So like that, I really like that part of it, and just the fact that it was 3D, and 
Yeah, and like you had to literally twist, twist things as opposed to mouse clicking and turning them to twist. Yeah. You know, that, that, uh, yeah, so it was just like another level of engagement for me that I really enjoyed. And I couldn't put it down until I was done. So I finished that, no, I finished that one. And, and thinking about it now, I'll probably, I'll probably play it again. Cause it's been long enough to where I, I don't really remember. Yeah. So, but yeah, I'm hoping they come out with another one. Been hoping like uh, Da Vinci, you know, they've had it, you know, on mobile and or mobile and uh, PC, etc. Same for the room. Uh, I've been hoping they come out with another one. Yeah. Because, I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't. I mean, every single one of them was super popular. And they, they were the best in their class, in my opinion. As far as, you know, escape type, you know, puzzle the mechanics. And it was yeah. just, it was just fun, even if it wasn't, like, certain parts weren't that hard or whatever. It was just fun. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that, that's, that's me on, on that stuff, but yeah, I, I totally want another one and I would buy it right out, the, right out the box, right away, which, uh, I can't say that about too many things, uh, you know, Half-Life 3 or Portal 3 or, you know, it, it, if they actually Valve did a three, then yeah, uh, they, they're one of the few that I would buy. Like, like, like I would pre-order. Yeah. Uh, and like Talos, I pre-ordered it because of the price. Yeah. Uh, and I and I totally enjoyed the game. And, and I, I, you know, I, I, I didn't even go to every little thing and check everything out because you don't have to to keep the game. But, you know, I, you know, I just break game and for the price. Yeah, no question. Yeah, I said the various, um, I think i probably pre-order it tomorrow because I think you just can't Freeze. at, at that price. Yeah. <laughs> they, I know they're not, but they're almost like giving it away, to be fair. Which, yeah, like, um, and yeah, like I said, the first it, just, one. it just worries me. I'm sure they won't, but it just worries me that like, you're being so cheap that are they going to try and pad it out with all the stuff to make money? But I'm... Um, pretty sure that they won't well i mean i think my guess is that based on the first one the dlcs which i i didn't actually get all the dlcs um but based on the first one and based on the price of this one if it's even close as long as the first one was without DLCs and all that, then ah, oh, it's I mean way beyond worth it. I mean, typically something like that, I mean, most people would expect that or consider that a a AAA game. Yeah. You know, and which is now AAA's are sixty or seventy U.S. dollars. So. Yeah, uh, it, you know, if it took me however long to go through it and then they offered DLC on top of it, that's fine. Yeah, especially for the price, I mean, crap, there, I mean, there's, 
There's plenty of uh, indie games that that cost twenty five bucks. Yes. You know, and they're not as nearly involved. So, you know, I, I don't think uh, I don't think twenty five dollars or give or take, however much you got it for, is. Uh, outrageous whatsoever. I mean, I think that's pretty insane. But yeah, I will be disappointed if they pull some kind of shenanigans. Yeah. Uh, you know, monetarily. Like if I if I play like 15 hours and and I'm already done, then I'm gonna be disappointed. But. I, I doubt, I just hope, uh, I, I think more so, I hope that they, I hope that the puzzles and things are step up, you know, like, they, they, they don't go back to the same crap. Yeah, so it's, it's new, yeah, so they're, they're actually innovated rather than just re-churning. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, because if I'm, especially the what uh, I think the biggest thing I disliked about the, the first one was the what you call it the shape puzzle things between the levels. Oh. No, the 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 things that move back and forth. And killed you. All the uh, the buzzers. Yeah. I mean, you gotta sit there and change your uh, the the fencing. You make them bounce off, and then the timing and all that. Yeah. I I did not enjoy. I mean, some of them were okay, but it's like they just. To me, personally, they, they they just dragged it out too long with that same thing, yeah. and yeah, I personally didn't really like it, and that's what turned me off of it for a while before I went back to it. And and then when I went back to it, I was like, I went through them where I that you know, of course, where I'd left off, and then I was like, okay, yeah, I remember why I quit now. Because I got sick of these style puzzles. Because it wasn't just about okay, I know what I need to do, but I need, I, but I need a time. Yeah. Same, th same, same thing in Portal. You know, people, most people hate timing puzzles. Same thing in Witness. Same thing in Witness on that particular one where he went, uh, Hawk made. That shit, crazy. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that kind of stuff. It's like, what, what would they learn? Like, okay, either give an option, in my opinion, give an option. Do you want it timed, or do you want it to be maybe harder puzzles? Yeah. Instead, or something like that. And I would go harder puzzles. Screw timing. Yeah. Uh, that to me is just, you know, just not. Uh, yeah, it's, it's. I mean, it's just not a, a thing I like when it comes to puzzles. It's, it's an artificial difficulty yeah. increase, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um. Yeah. If if you if you haven't played it crazy, I mean, I I would, um, I would highly recommend playing it. To be fair. Oh yeah, Talos is great. And anybody that's in your that you're friends with on Steam, you'll find things that when you walk up to walls that you can read stuff. It'll have people in your uh, friends list. Yeah, friends list that you know has their name on it. 
that sort of thing. You read it and it has their name on it. But anyway, yeah, you, you, you would totally enjoy it. Highly recommend getting it. Especially with the, uh, the bundle price. Definitely we get it with one and two. But uh, it's not... Uh, it goes from easy to... Any, anywhere from easy to quite difficult. So, yeah. But take it, it for what it's worth. Definitely, if you enjoy puzzle yeah. games, it is definitely one that you will want to play, in my opinion. Fire. Yep, on board with you there, for sure. Just like the witness. I think it's I think it's easier than the witness though. I think the witness is one of the hardest puzzle games. Yeah, to but I, I think that comes down to the fact that the way the game the way the game game is and the fact that you have to learn the rules. So if you don't learn the different puzzle rules, it's really difficult to progress. Yeah. It's it, yeah, it's one that if you you start going through, especially with the like, like the diamond shape and this and that. When you're going through a maze, you have to you have to enclose this shape, but leave this one outside or whatever. If I recall, yeah. Uh, you know, you're going through the, the maze kind of puzzles, which there are a lot of. If you don't uh, keep up with it, if you take too long in between, you'll and you forget what they do you're screwed like well not necessarily but you're you know you're kind of like oh crap what did, what did this color and shape thing do and do i need to go around it or what do i yeah yeah so yeah you kind of once you start playing it it's one of those games i think you just need to keep playing it Unless you just have a really good memory, which I don't. And you say you don't, but you have a better memory than you let on. <laughs> Not meant to attack that dude. Jeez, what are you doing, you idiot? I'm going to have to make a uh, save room in a minute because I didn't realise that it's uh, going to be time to call it a night. CS2. Yeah, Counter Strike 2 just released. Sure. Really? Wow. <laughs> okay. That's yeah, amazing. Must have been Counter Strike 2 Source Point One Two Three. Never really kind of played a lot of Counter Strike. Um, on CSGO, I, I kind of, I dabbled with it, but I don't know, I just don't, don't enjoy the gameplay style of like CSGO. Yeah, same here. I, um, I started playing from the, the orange box and I was like, okay. Yeah, it, I, I tried for a little bit, but it just wasn't for me. It wasn't my style. And the, oh, you gotta buy buy upgrades and weapons, whatever. Uh, it, yeah. I don't know. It just it just wasn't my thing. And I would walk. I would I would press W after it started, 
and two seconds then I'm shot and dead. Like over and over again, and I'm like, okay. It's one thing to suck and be a beginner, but it's another thing to where I couldn't even freaking play it because I was just dead. Yeah. All all the time. And it's like, Jesus. Okay. Just well. just hold that just hold that thought real quickly. I'm just gonna um wrap yep. things up for YouTube. Thank you very much everybody for tuning in. Um see so yeah, we're halfway through floor ten. Uh, not really sure how many floors there are to go through, but uh, yeah, through another one and a half floors tonight. Thanks, Deathwish, as always, for riding along with me, so to speak. Appreciate oh, thanks it, for as always. Me, dude. Um, thanks, everybody, in chat. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll be back with some more uh, Rechain of Memories next Wednesday night. But until then, thank you very much. I've been, you've been awesome, as always. Happy gaming. Bye, guys.